dx. When you integrate here, you will obtain a value or a number. That number is simply as just adding the integral of 2x from 1 up to 2. So we are going to use the definite integral concept to find the, the area under curves. Now when we find it, when you are finding area under curve, we have two scenarios or two cases. When the curve is drawn with horizontal axis or two x axis or in the case of vertical axis. Now let's see one after another. Now if you look here on the screen, area given the curve is obtained by using the following condition. We have, as I said, we have two cases. Case number one, when the function or the curve is drawn with x axis or against the horizontal axis. Now the formula or the curve is like this one. That is y and that is x. So let's assume this is our curve. Our curve f of x. And we are given the limit from a up to up to b. So this is the area that you are supposed to calculate. Now the same as adding from, from a up to b. Now the formula for finding area in that case is given by the integral from a to b of the function f of x d dx. So why are we writing dx? Because the graph of the curve is drawn with respect to x axis. But in the second case, in the second case, if it is with vertical axis, now you will see the curve will change. Now let's assume this is our curve. This is y and this is x. Let's say so you are finding the area from C up to D. This is the area. Now the function will be written now in terms of y and not in terms of x. So it will be f of y. Now which the area now will change and be written as the area of such kind of a curve will be equal to from C to D of F of Y D Y. So these are the two formula which are very crucial and that you're supposed to remember them before you go in your examination. Now where do we use this area formula integral from C to D of F of Y D Y and where do we use this one? Of f of x d x. As I said, this is when the function is with the, the horizontal line or the x axis. But this one is when the graph is drawn with respect to respect to y axis or the vertical axis. Now in that part, let's see what are the key steps that you are supposed to undertake when finding the area under the curve with the given limit or with the given domain of that function. So the following are the steps. And these steps are very important to be seen in part of your solution. So the step to be taken, steps to be, to be taken, or when finding area under the curve. So step number one, sketch, sketch the graph. of the given function. 
Then after sketching the graph in XY plane, I mean this one, the XC, Y plane. So you sketch in that part. After sketching, then you're supposed to shade. Shade the area required or between the given the given limit. And then from there, after shading the graph between the given limit, now the third point or the third step is to choose the appropriate the appropriate formula in which here now it's time now to choose the case is it in case 1 or in case number number 2 remember when i say case 1 is when the curve is drawn with respect to the x axis or horizontal axis the case 2 is when it's drawn with respect to y axis or vertical axis so those are the key steps that you're supposed to undertake when you are finding area under a curve so as i said we have two formula formula number one is area equal to the integral from a to b of f of x d x so if you see f of x d x this is with respect to to the horizontal axis or x axis and the second one is from c to d of f of y dy with respect to vertical axis or y axis so the formula themselves they express they express themselves f of x dx as we know, the horizontal axis is always named as the x-axis. And f of y stands for the vertical axis. Now to that point, let's check some examples on how to find the area under a curve. You are watching Darasa Online. Example number one. But remember... You are supposed to have your calculator beside you because of saving time. Now let's see example number one. Find the area under the curve y equal to x square from x equal to 1 and x equal to 2. We are given a curve y equal to x square. But this one is from x equal to 1 and e, x e equal to 2. So if you go direct without sketching, my dear student, you might get confusion or you can get wrong answer of your question. So as I said, you need to sketch. Now let's sketching. Sketching the graph of y equal to x e square. But you are given x e 1 Two. This is the given limit. But remember, when you are sketching the graph, you need to have at least the negative number so as you see the nature of your graph. Will it either turn upward or backward? Upward or downward, depending on the nature of the function. This is a quadratic. We don't know. Is it going to turn upward or downward? So we need to draw a table. As this including the negative number. So it starts from negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. You can add 3. But what I'm writing here, you are writing that function y is equal to x square. Now after that, start substituting. When x equal to negative 2, this value will be equal to, to 4. When x equal to negative 1, here we'll be having 1. When x equal to 0, we'll be having 0. Again, here we'll be having 1. Then we'll be having 4. And that one will be equal to 9. Thereafter, let's sketch 
our graph is part of your solution. So we have 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Here we have 0. 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. For the case of y, we have only positive numbers. So let's assume here we have 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. Now when x is equal to negative 2, our y value is positive 4. Negative 1, we get positive 1. When it's 0, we have 0. When it is 1, it's just 1. And when it's 2, it's 4. 3 is just 9. Thereafter, using a free end drawing, join the point. So that is the curve. The curve y equal to x square. But you have to find the area from x equal to 1 and x equal to 2. Show that area in your graph. So it means from x equal to 1 and x equal to 2. This is the area that you are supposed to find. This is the required, required area. Now for that case, because it is with respect to x axis, the formula that we are going to use will be equal to the area from 1 to 2 of f of x dx. Now let's substitute the function and then integrate. Area will be equal to from 1 to 2. Our function was x square dx. So integrating, you'll be having x to the power of 3 over 3 from 1 to 2. Then simplifying, this will be equal to 2 power 3 over 3 minus 1 power 3 over 3, which is 80 over 3 minus 1 over 3, which is equal to 7 over, over 3. So from there, you can use your calculator to simplify and leave your answer in decimal places. Seven divided by three, so I will get two point three three three. But how do I write? Because I remember area is measured in square units. But here we are not given either the centimeter or the kilometer or whatever. So here you just write only square units. That will be the area of the function y equal to x square in the interval of x from 1 and e and e 2. So my dear student, that is how to find the area of such kind of a curve. Now thereafter, let's check the second example. y equal to twice x minus x square and the x axis. Here you're not given the limit, but without drawing, you cannot know which limit are you going to use to find your area. So, example number two. In example number two, we are given y equal to 2x minus x square and the x axis. So this is the question. Do you know the limit that you are going to use in the formula? Because the formula is area is equal from A to B of f of x dx. Okay, the f of x, you know it. But do you know the value of A and that of B? My dear story, it's not easy unless you draw the, the graph or you sketch. So here we are going to sketch. But to help you, you can solve for the value of x so as you know 
which value of x am I supposed to include in my table? Now, sketching the curve. So if we find the value of x from there, so as we know which value to be included in our table, so this one is the same as saying 2x minus x square equal to 0, taking x out 2 minus x equal to 0. So here is x equal to 0 and x equal to, to 2. Okay, so these are the values that are supposed to be included in our table. So x, remember to include the negative number. So we start with negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and let's say 3. Then down right y equal to twice x minus x square. Thereafter, you can write the formula into the calculator and then plugging the value to save time. So, do you remember how to write the formula in calculator? <coughs> okay, use alpha. Use alpha, then y. Alpha equal sign. We are writing that function 2x minus x square. 2 alpha x minus alpha x then square. Calculating. Calculating when x is negative 2, when you calculate you get negative 8. Again when you calculate when x is equal to negative 1, you get negative 3. When you calculate is equal to 0, when x equal to 0, here we get 0. Again, calculating when x equal to 1, you get positive 1. When x equal to 2, here you will get 0. When x equal to 3, we will get negative, negative 3. Those are very enough to show, to sketch your, your graph. Now let's sketch our graph. This is x and that is y. We have negative number and positive number. 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. But in the case of y-axis, we have 1, 2, 3. For the case of negative side, we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, up to negative 8. Now, plot the point. When x equal to negative 2, we have negative 8. So negative 8 somewhere there. When x equal to negative 1, we have negative 3. When x equal to 0, we have 0. When x equal to 1, we have 1. When x equal to 2, we have 0. And when x equal to 3, we have positive 3. Thereafter, joining the point... So as you can see, the graph of y, this is the graph of y equal to 2x minus x square. Now the area with x-axis, this is our x-axis. Then this part is the one that we are looking for. This is the required area. So from there... You, you have seen that it, you, uh, we are going to integrate from 0 up to 2. But in the question, we aren't given the limit. But after sketching, now we come and observe it is from 0 up to 2. Now, let's integrate the function. Now, the area is given by a to be of f of x dx from 0 to 2. Our function is 2x minus x square dx. So it is the same as saying 0 to 2 of 2x dx minus x square dx from 0 to 2. So if we integrate here, you'll get 2 
take it outside because it's constant number x square over 2 0 to 2 then we minus x to the power of 3 over 3 from 0 to, to 2 therefore area will be equal to now substituting the value we'll be having 2 2 power 2 is 4 over 2 then 0 over 2 is just 0 so leave it as it is then we minus 2 to the power of 3 is 2 power of 3 over 3 that 0 becomes 0 as it is so here 2 and 2 cancel so we remain with 4 minus 2 power 3 is 8 divided by 3 so if you divide 80 by 3 what are you going to get so it is 4 minus use your calculator again so 8 divided by 3 we get 2.666 you can approximate the last one then minus 4 so if you take 4 minus 2.6667 you will end in having 1.333 square units. Remember to write the word square unit because this is area. Otherwise, if you leave as it is 1.33, just a number, that will be the value of just A and not the area of that curve under the given e limit. Now let's see the second example. The first example was on how to find the area of the curve area of the curve when it's drawn against the x axis in which we use the formula a is equal to the integral from a to b f of x d x. Now in the second example we are going to see how to find the area of a curve that is drawn against the vertical axis. Example number two. Find the area under the curve for which x is positive. So solution, we have y equal to x square and we are given from y is equal to one and y equal to to 4. So if you see that you are given y equal to 1 and y equal to 4, these are the value of limit in the vertical axis. Now what are the steps? Remember the formula. The formula is area is equal to from C to D of F of Y D Y. So meaning that the function is supposed to be in terms of y and not in terms of x. So my dear students, here you are supposed to make x the subject and then thereafter you go and sketch the graph and see which area you are supposed to find. Now make x the subject. Here we'll be having x equal to the root of y. So this is the function that we are going to sketch. It's a graph with the help of the given, the given limit or the given value of y which is 1 and the, and the 4. Now remember to sketch the graph, you can simply use tabular form and in which include. Now here we are writing the value of y, the point, the value of y. And our function now is x equal to the root of y. So let's just take the one that we are given. Starting from 0, 1, you may be having 2, 3, and then 4. Because we are just sketching without using scale. So the root of 0 is, will be equal to 0. The root of 1 will be equal to 1. The root of 2, you can use your calculator. Find the root of 2. So root of 2 is just 1.4. 1 1.41. 1 .4, 1. Again, root of 3 is just 
three. Root of four is just two. It's enough. Or you can add the, the last one. Let's say five. If we find root of five, what are you going to get? You are going to get 2.24. Thereafter, now sketch the graph and see where the area is going to be seen. That is X and that is Y. Our Y is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. But our X here, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We don't have negative number in the case of who? X, X. Because when you are drawing X, Y plane, remember to add the negative number and also this side. Thereafter, now starting to plot. When X equal to 0, when Y equal to 0, also X equal to 0. The point will be there. When y is equal to 1, S or x also is also equal to 1. When y is equal to 2, the value of, y of x is 1.4. And when x equal to 3, the value of y, the x value is 1.73. When, X, when y equal to 4, the value of y is equal to, to 2. Equal to 5. So the graph will be of this nature. So that is the, the curve of x equal to root of y. But we have to find from 1 up to 4. So this is our area that we are going to calculate. So this is the required area. After sketching the graph, what next? Next now is to plug in the formula and then integrate, substitute the value, conclude your solution. Our formula is given by A from C to D of F of Y D Y. So it is from 1 up to 4. Our function was root of Y D Y. So let's integrate root of Y and see what are you going to get. So if you integrate it the same as writing 1 to 4, this is equal to Y power 1 over 2 D Y. Remember, when you are integrating a function, the power is always increasing by 1. So, if we integrate here, it will be equal to 1 over 2 plus 1. 1 over 2 plus 1, the same as writing 1 over 2 plus 2 over 2, which is 3 over 2. So, it is y to the power of 3 over 2, again, over 3 over 2. This is from... 1 up to, to 4. Now the meaning of writing 3 over 2, the same as taking 2 over 3, y, that one. So it is 2 over 3 times y to the power of 3 over 2. Then from 1 up to 4. Let's substitute the value. So when you substitute the value, we'll be having 2 over 3 to the bracket. Y is 4 to the power of 3 over 2 minus 1 to the power of 3 over, over 2. This is equal to 2 over, over 3. Now, 4 the power of 3 over 2, the same as writing 
2 power of 2 3 over 2 minus just 1 when take 1 power 1 of power 3 over 2 is just equal to 1 then this 2 and that one cancel out so we remain with 2 over 3 2 to the power of 3 is 8 minus 1 lastly will be equal to 2 over 3 so 8 minus 1 is just 7 is over 1 so the same as writing 14 over 3 so the area of such curve will be equal to 14 over 3 square unit or you can decide to leave the answer in decimal as this one 14 divided by by 3 so the answer is 4.6666 square units so do not forget to write the units as square units now after that example now let's see the second example under example number two we are given y square equal to 2y minus x and y axis that is a tricky question because we don't know the limit we don't know the limit that we are going to substitute in the integral sign so you need to work on it on how to find that one so example number two Roman number 2 is y square equal to 2y x with x axis. So if you see the word with y axis, it means this one is against the vertical axis. So step number 1 is to make sure that the function is written in terms of y. So the variable that will be depending is the variable x. So making, so if you make make x the subject so we'll be having x equal to 2y minus y minus y square so it will be this will be coming this side becoming positive and this one to that side becoming negative so this is the function x in terms of y it means here y is the independent variable but x is the dependent variable x depend on y to be obtained now let's sketch sketching the graph sketching the curve of x equal to 2y minus y square and let's see what are we going to get the nature of the the curve again you can equate to zero so as you know which value you are going to include in your table so take your 2y minus y square is equal to zero y here we have 2 minus y equal to zero so y is equal to zero and y is equal to 2 so this value is supposed to be seen in your table value again we write y and then you write x x is our function 2y minus y square we have 0 and 2 so we're just adding we are writing negative 2 negative 1 0 1 2 and and 3 so thereafter take your calculator and write, write the function so as to save time alpha x equal to 2y so we are writing 2 alpha y minus alpha of y square y then is square so this is the function that you are given which is x equal to 2y minus y square let's see when the value of y is equal to negative 2 what is the value of x so you we do calculate Calculate when y is equal to negative 2, we obtain negative 8. So that become 
So this one will be equal to negative 8. Again, when you, the value of y is equal to negative 1, we'll obtain negative 3. Here we'll obtain 0. When equal to 1, we'll obtain 1. When equal to 2, when equal to 2, we'll obtain 0. When again equal to 3, you will obtain negative negative 3. So from there, let's sketch and see the nature of our curve. So if you sketch, you will be having the following. This is x and that is y. So in the case of y, we have negative number and positive number. So we include them in our graph, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Then we have positive 1, positive 2, 3, 4. In the case of x, we have negative number and positive number again. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. So we start with when, x is, when y is equal to negative 1, our x is negative 3. So negative 1, our x is negative 3. Three. So we have that one. When it's equal to zero, when it's equal to zero, we have zero. When we have one, what do we have? One is just one. When we have two, we have zero. We have zero. And when we have three, sorry, when we have y is equal to two, when y is equal to 2, when y equal to 2, when, x, when y is equal to 1, the value of u, x is equal to 1, that one. And when y is equal to 2, the value of x is 0, we have that one. And when y is equal to 3, we have negative 3. When equal to 3, we have negative 3. Now, Joining the point. So if you join the point, you will be having such kind of a graph. But we are asked and the y-axis. So the y-axis, it means, this is the y-axis. So the reason that you are supposed to find is this part. This is the required area. Now do you see from which limit you are going to integrate, it is from 0 up to 2. Now let's go direct to the formula and then substitute the function and then integrate. You are watching Darasa Online. So the formula is, our function is, so this is the graph of x equal to 2y minus y square. So we say from area is equal to from c to d of f of y dy. From 0 up to 2 of the function 2y minus y square dy. Again integrating 0 to 2 of 2y dy minus the integral of y square dy from 0 to 2. So if we integrate here, you'll be having 2 to the bracket of y square over 2 from 0 to 2 minus this one the same as writing y to the power of 3 over 3 from 0 to 2. So that part is very easy. Substituting time. Okay, so if we simplify now, we'll be having 2 out, 2 power 2 is just 4 over 2 minus, y to the power of 3 is 2, 2 power 3 over 3. The one that having 0 will also be equal to 0. So if you simplify, that one cancel, you remain with 4. Minus 2 power 3 is 8 over 3. 
So simply, it's the same as taking, this is 1 over 3. 4 times 3 is 12 minus 8. So thereafter, if you simplify, you will get 12 minus 8. You will get 4 over 3, which is the same as writing 1.333 square units. So that is how to find the area under a given curve. Now, from there, hope you have seen the formulas and how to apply them. But thing that you're supposed to take note is to which part of the curve or to which part of the XY plane the curve is drawn with or is drawn against. If it's drawn against the x-axis or the horizontal axis, so the formula that is supposed to be used is the area from A to B, f of x, dx. But if it's against the vertical axis of the y-axis, the formula is to be used is from C to D, f of y, dy. But here, there is another that you're supposed to know. You must make x the subject of the main curve. So here, remember to make x the, the subject. As usual, remember all the steps that you're supposed to undertake before choosing the appropriate formula to find your area. That is sketching your graph, showing your area that you're supposed to find, so as to enable know the limit that you'll be using in finding the area of such kind of a curve. Now, to winding up, here we have question for more practice. I know you have plenty of time staying at home, so don't use that time as granted. Take this question and work on them. Find the area under the curve given below. Roman number one, y equal to x squared plus one from x equal to zero and x equal to three. That is question number one. Number two, x equal to four y minus y square and the y axis. But remember what I was explaining to you, those parts are very important or very crucial in application of integration, especially when you're finding area under one curve. So to that point, hope you enjoyed the lesson. Don't miss the next lesson. moja huruka pamoja na watu wa jamii moja hujumuika pamoja tujumuike na watu wenye ulemavu kuwa na jamii jumuishi yenye umoja bila unyanyapaa wa kimaumbile kipindi cha wape nafasi hapa TBC1 kinakupa taarifa kuhusu yenye ulemavu katika kada mbalimbali utaona vipaji vyao katika michezo elimu ajira biashara na mambo kede kede wanayofanya licha ya changamoto zao za kimaumbile wape nafasi wapate fursa 
usione ukadhani ulemavu si kushindwa yote haya utayapata katika kipindi cha wape nafasi kila siku ya Jumatatu saa 12 kamili jioni na marudio ni siku ya Jumatano saa 8 mchana hapa TBC1 ukweli na uhakika